Okay guys, so I said I was gonna do another crochet or crochet wig for you guys, but in this case, I am actually doing a different kind of wig. This is the Cuban twist braiding weaving hair and I have them both in an eight inch and I have the color T27 and T30, which they are both ombre colors here now um when i open them up i can tell you guys one of the things that i notice about the hair it is very soft it is a bit rough so in this video i'm going to show you what i'm going to do to kind of combat that situation but um i really did like the hair i love the texture and this time i plan on actually doing it a little bit better than i did with the last cuban twist crochet wig that i did so the tools that I'm going to be using here are the normal. I have a pair of scissors, a needle, and some weaving thread that I got from a beauty supply store. And the two fit um, wig cap. This is a mesh wig cap, which is very similar to a um, dome or elastic dome cap. And I like this cap a lot better because it's breathable. Um, considering that I'm gonna be putting this wig in some water, it dries better than the elastic um, dome caps. So you can also find this at the beauty supply store as well, but I'll make sure I put a link down to where you can find it again somewhere online as well. So because of the cap type, I um, am gonna hand sew the weaving hair onto the cap. Um, even though my preferred way of sewing or instructing constructing wigs now is using the sewing machine. If you guys aren't familiar with how I um, do any of my wigs, whether sewing machine or by hand, I'll make sure there's a link down below to a playlist that you can see. So after I finished constructing the wig by sewing the tracks onto the cap, I had to brush the hair out this time. This was a tip that one of you guys had told me I should do because I didn't do it in the last one. And I was careful to make sure that I do this uh, track by track. As you notice, the tracks aren't very close together. But um, this was how I brushed it out. And just be aware you're going to have some hair left in your brush. So before I started to style it, I wanted to see what it would look like on my head and didn't do any cutting to it. I just tried to define a part in it so that it would be a little bit easier for me to figure out how to put the curls in. And what I ended up using are a bunch of perm rods. I have them in so many different sizes, so it doesn't really matter which one you use. And I'm using the Smooth and Hold Pudding just to add some moisture to the hair because I mentioned to you that it was a bit rough. So this is how I am going to um, install the uh, perm rods into the wig. And as usual, you want to dip the rods into some hot water. I do it in an entirely large bowl all at once. Put it on a towel and I let it air dry actually for about three days. So this is usually how my hair is under most full wigs just because sometimes I like to change it up and go back to my natural hair. So with this, this is what it looks like and I'm just going to go ahead and carefully take out the um, perm rods from the wig and I really did like how the curls came out. They did come out a lot softer and as you notice I didn't roll all the way up to the cap. I did leave some hair out so that it would give some kind of a hmm yeah I'm gonna have to fix this. So I decided I was just gonna have to separate them. And when I separated them, it was good. I didn't roll them all the way up to the top because I had some kind of volume to hide the cap once I was done releasing um, a lot of the strands and separating them. So this hair came out pretty nice. I was very impressed with how it looked once I was done at the end. So a little situation that I got into was that I had some exposed cap and very far apart 
um, tracks. So my remedy for that, which I wanted to show you guys, just in case this happens to you, is that I had pinched uh, two tracks together and kind of sewed them in little tucks, if that makes sense, just so that I can close the crown of my wig. Now make sure you're very, very careful with this. You don't want to sew your own hair into this cap. So easy peasy, simple, and it looked nice once I was done. So there you are guys. I was very happy with the results. Very Shirley Temple curls on this wonderful synthetic weaving hair by Cuban Twist, which is equal by um, Cuban Twist hair. Um, but keep in mind guys, uh, I have done this a couple of times. I will make sure I link the videos, actually the playlist to this video to show you the other results that I have. I still have one more that I need to do. It's the very long one with the Marley braiding hair. So if you guys have any ideas what I should do with that and keeping it long so I don't have to cut it, please comment down below. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video.